हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आईसीयू नर्स यूट्यूब चैनल व्हाट इज ए स्ट्रोक ए लॉस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू ए पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन बी ब्लीडिंग इन द ब्रेन फ्रॉम ए ब्लड वेजल सी ब्लॉक्ड ब्लड वेजल इन द ब्रेन डी ऑल ऑफ द एबव and the correct answer is d all of the above a stroke is a result of low oxygen or low blood flow to an area of the brain this can happen from a blood clot causing a blockage of blood flow that is ischemic stroke a leak in a blood vessel or a burst blood vessel that is hemorrhagic stroke blood carries oxygen to the tissues of the brain and when blood flow is reduced part of the brain is permanently damaged what is the major risk factor for stroke a obesity b diabetes c high blood pressure d family history of stroke and the correct answer is c high blood pressure The leading cause of stroke is high blood pressure making it the highest risk factor for stroke Other risk factors for stroke include smoking diabetes high cholesterol physical inactivity obesity artery disease and age over 65 Is stroke a medical emergency A no B yes C needs immediate intervention D both B and C and the correct answer is D both B and C A stroke occurs when the blood supply to part of your brain is interrupted or reduced depriving brain tissue of oxygen and nutrients Within minutes brain cells begin to die. A stroke is a medical emergency. Prompt treatment is crucial. Early action can minimize brain damage and potential complications. What is the most common treatment for stroke? A potassium chloride, B aerobic exercise, C shock therapy, D blood thinner medications. and the correct answer is d blood thinner medications blood thinners are the most common treatment for stroke blood thinners are used to treat acute stroke the clot buster drug used in emergency settings is called altiplase also referred to as tpa tissue plasminogen activator Blood thinners are also used to prevent or decrease the risk of stroke in conditions such as heart disease, atrial fibrillation, heart valve disorders, hypercoagulable states, and previous cerebral vascular disease. Blood supply to the brain that is briefly interrupted describes a A transient ischemic attack B mini stroke C stroke D both A and B and the correct answer is D both A and B A transient ischemic attack is like a stroke producing similar symptoms but usually lasting only a few minutes and causing no permanent damage. Often called a mini stroke, a transient ischemic attack may be a warning for a full-blown stroke in the future. Which of the following is another term for stroke? A brain attack 
B. Complex migraine C. Clot attack D. All of the above And the correct answer is A. Brain attack Stroke is also referred to as a cerebrovascular accident, CVA or a brain attack. Which of these is a symptom of stroke? A. Sudden confusion or trouble seeing or both. B. Sudden severe headache with no cause. C. Sudden weakness in an arm or leg. D. All of the above. And the correct answer is D. All of the above. The symptoms of stroke occur suddenly and quickly. Numbness or weakness can also occur in the face and on the side of the body. A person having a stroke may suddenly have difficulty speaking or understanding what someone is saying to them. The person may suddenly have trouble walking and lose his or her balance. Sudden dizziness is another symptom. If you are with someone who is experiencing any of these, seek medical help immediately. What is the risk factor of stroke that you cannot change? A. Tobacco use B. Age C. High blood pressure D. Weight And the correct answer is B. Age What is the risk factor of stroke that you can change? A. Age B. Family history C. High cholesterol D. Race And the correct answer is C. High cholesterol Which of the following is a long term complication after a stroke? A. Improved cognitive abilities B. Accurate memory C. Paralysis or weakness on one side of the body D. None of the above And the correct answer is C. Paralysis or weakness on one side of the body. The long term complications after stroke are memory problems, visual problems, less emotional control, poor hand eye coordination, difficulty making decisions. Eating and swallowing difficulties, speech problems, body temperature control loss in some cases, difficulty breathing, fatigue and low endurance, incontinence, reduced sexual ability, nerve problems, changes in movement and sensation, etc. Which is the most common type of stroke? A. Ischemic stroke B. Hemorrhagic stroke C. Both A and B D. None of the above And the correct answer is A. Ischemic stroke Eighty-seven percent of strokes are ischemic strokes an ischemic stroke happens when blood flow through the artery that supplies oxygen-rich blood to the brain becomes blocked. Blood clots often cause the blockages that lead to ischemic strokes. Which type of stroke has major mortality rate? A. Transient ischemic attack B. Hemorrhagic stroke C. Ischemic stroke D. Both A and C. 
and the correct answer is B hemorrhagic stroke Hemorrhagic strokes are the deadliest and least treatable type Those who suffer ischemic strokes have a much better chance for survival than those who experience hemorrhagic strokes As hemorrhagic strokes not only damages brain cells but also may lead to increased pressure on the brain or spasms in the blood vessels Which is the most common type of hemorrhagic stroke A subarachnoid hemorrhage B intracerebral hemorrhage C both A and B D none of the above and the correct answer is b intracerebral hemorrhage there are two types of hemorrhagic strokes intracerebral hemorrhage is the most common type of hemorrhagic stroke it occurs when an artery in the brain bursts flooding the surrounding tissue with blood subarachnoid hemorrhage is the less common type of hemorrhagic stroke Name the stroke which is considered as a major warning for the occurrence of a full blown stroke in the future. A ischemic stroke B hemorrhagic stroke C transient ischemic attack or mini stroke D both A and B and the correct answer is C transient ischemic attack or mini stroke A transient ischemic attack is often called a mini stroke but it's really a major warning. TIA is a temporary blockage of blood flow to the brain. Since it doesn't cause permanent damage it's often ignored. But this is a big mistake. TIA may signal a full blown stroke ahead in the future. When you first notice symptoms get help immediately. In ischemic stroke which is the only blood test that should be done before usage of tissue plasminogen activator A CRP B serum creatinine C blood glucose level D troponin and the correct answer is C blood glucose level Tissue plasminogen activator is the only stroke drug that actually breaks up a blood clot. It's used as a common emergency treatment during a stroke. For this treatment, TPA is injected into a vein so it can get to the clot quickly. The most important test in emergency stroke evaluation is glucose test. because levels of blood glucose which are too high or too low can cause symptoms which may be mistaken for stroke a fasting blood sugar is used to help in the diagnosis of diabetes which is a risk factor for stroke what is the recommended blood pressure level for a patient who is about to receive tissue plasminogen activator A below 120 by 80 mm Hg B below 200 by 120 mm Hg C below 185 by 110 mm Hg D below 100 by 90 mm Hg And the correct answer is C below 185 by 110 mm Hg Which intervention should be avoided for the patients with hemorrhagic stroke? A fibrinolytic therapy B to maintain serum osmolality C to maintain arterial pressure D to use warfarin antidote if he was using it And the correct answer is A 